Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day so far. I'm going to see what's manifesting for you this May. Any messages or advice, what's showing up around you as well. And in the chances that you see this outside of me and it resonates, the message is yours. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldie on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallyatglow.com, for you to view all of the different options for readings. Okay. Hmm. Secret information. I'm seeing you having some sort of like secret information. For some of you, you could, you could be getting um, like a personal reading by someone this month. Okay. It feels like, yeah. Oh, and we got the moon here as well. There's something even with your own intuition where you can sense something is coming or something's happening here. Um, and it feels like emotions could be really high right now when it comes to your current uh, state or whatever you're in right now. So you may feel like you're really tired, exhausted, or just like struggling in something. But you're coming out on the other side of it. And I feel like you know that, okay? This is the high priestess, the moon. This is like some sort of knowing. Um, be prepared for any possibility, okay? Stay determined and move forward. Something is telling you to keep moving forward here. I feel like you have rejected an offer or maybe vice versa. Some of you feel like you were rejected with that four of cups there. Like someone's love offer um, or affection, attention, advances have, have been ignored in some way. So a situation has ended and you're being set free now. You're being set free in a situation. Um, there is something coming to light though. What is this that's coming to light? In the month of May for Sagittarius, what's coming to light? Nine of Cups. Oh, the, I'm seeing a realization here. A realization that's going to make you really, really happy. Okay, information that feels like a wish fulfillment. Okay, you're having some sort of wish fulfilled and being really, really happy with the outcome of how something turns out. So you have to walk away from a situation and things are going to come to light where you're going to look back and see, oh yeah, I made the right choice. I made the right decision to um, leave this when I did. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're really in a place right now where you're protecting your peace at all costs and you're you're fighting to get something moving as well here even if there's other opinions even if there's uh, external circumstances that you feel like are against you in some way you're moving forward slowly and with with consistency with this knight of pentacles even if you're moving slow slower this month this is still leading you to the best to the best outcome successful stable accomplished powerful um yeah it's like if things feel slow this month 
don't even worry about it because it's meant to be slower this month. The slowest way is the fastest way. The fastest way is the slowest way. Um, I also see this as you kind of moving forward with something but proceeding with caution. Okay. Going ahead with a situation but still using using your intuition to protect you from any circumstances that may, may come your way. Taking your time, making sure that you make the best decision for yourself. Tell me about the Six of Swords around. Okay. Truth. There's some um, communication. I'm seeing someone speaking their truth here. When it comes to a situation that they're moving on from. And you may see this as an opening like, oh, hey, well, this is my chance now. Okay. Hmm. Feels quiet. Some, like someone's being really quiet. Maybe it's you. Um, yeah. Someone feels like something happened really unexpectedly or they weren't, they had higher expectations for a situation and, and it's, it, things have just like slowed down for some reason. Clarify this Three of Wands reversed. Two of Cups. Oh, and you know what's funny? This Two of Cups landed on the High Priestess. And we got two, two. Two is the number of partnerships, unions. There is a partnership or a connection that you make with someone that you may have a feeling, a really good feeling about. Really suddenly or unexpectedly. So you have someone who is maybe not even really expecting you to come into their life or vice versa. Or, had, or this is someone who didn't even expect to fall for you this hard. Yeah, like it... This, yeah, I'm seeing this person is like shook. <laughs> if you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about this situation with you this month. Sagittarius. Mm, okay. Interesting. So, this person has... really strong feelings for you if they haven't already like fallen for you but this month does look like they're stressing um they feel like they've been left hanging or this situation is at a limbo they're they're worrying about a situation um that Maybe you're not even aware about. So, because you're showing up as a nine of wands, so you may be really focused on your work. And yeah, we got the nine of wands twice and just um, trying to finish something up in your own life. And it may be delaying this situation and this person is now freaking out. Or on the other hand, you may be kind of guarded. You have your guards up. You have certain boundaries up. And they're really worried that this could be the beginning of the end. Okay. They're afraid that you may run away from them or that you could be avoiding them. But their actions is coming towards you with a romantic offer, a love offer. Even though they're stressing yeah, I think you don't really know how much this person is, like, worried. 
or how much this person really thinks about you. But it does look like you end up connecting with each other again in the month of May with that high priestess. Again, this is like this is like a knowing, like, you know what, even if things are um, unclear right now, it, I feel like things will change for the better or we will be together or we will um, deepen a connection and things will progress even if it's stagnant or slow at this moment. Okay. I'm hearing stay focused. It's important for you to really stay focused this month because you you have uh, some sort of public victory either in the workplace or in something that you do. Uh, I see you also, I see you getting a lot of attention. It says congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. It's important to stay focused. This person will wait for you or whatever situation around you that is maybe distracting it will it can wait what else does Sagittarius need to know the magician yeah you can do anything right now anything that you put your mind to this month is going to turn out exactly how you've manifested it to any drama any conflict any challenge you have what it takes and you know that or you'll get some sort of information or download or maybe through this reading you're gonna be like oh, okay even though it's un uncomfortable goalie did say it's gonna be uncomfortable but she did say that it's good it's gonna lead to a victory yeah you're gonna receive some sort of insight either through meditation or through a dream at a time that you're not really thinking much that's when that's when intuition comes through i'm seeing the numbers 10 9 6 2 3 18 4 those numbers could be birthdays special days synchronicities um i'm seeing the letters p b h u k m W. I just noticed I said UK. So someone could be from the UK. A few of you could be from there, or you could be dealing from could be dealing with someone from the UK. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know if you made it this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.